Hey everyone, it's your boy Doc Williams and today we're going to be talking about how you can create a viral newsletter from scratch starting right now. All right, everyone. Now, before we begin, make sure that you like and subscribe this channel. Make sure that you sign up for all the notifications to make sure you don't miss a single episode. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be talking about how you can be starting your own viral newsletter. Now, the first thing that you're gonna be asking me is, well, first of all, Doc, I haven't even thought of a subject about how to start my own newsletter. We got you covered. In one of the recent episodes or issues in trends.co, it was actually talking about some of the different unique opportunities out there in the market. One of the things that caught our eye was talking about subreddit groups and finding out what people are talking about. Now, why would we start in a subreddit group? When you find a subreddit Reddit group that has a lot of members and a lot of activity, but there's no newsletter or there's no, uh, there's no information where people can sign up to get notifications via email, that's your opportunity for getting in front of your audience and building your own list. Now, we're gonna go through some examples in a few moments of some of the best case uh, cases in the industry in tech doing this time and time again. And we're gonna be going through that in one second. In one of the latest issues of trends.co, it was actually talking about a lot of different opportunities in the industry. What we got from that article was not only are there tons of different areas and tons of different groups that have interests that are being underserved, but you can take advantage of this for you to create your own viral newsletter. How can you do this? Well, let's go with one example. If you're on Reddit, Reddit is a site where you can see so many different communities and they're engaging. Instead of just trying to find a newsletter just haphazardly, make sure that you look for a subreddit group that has a lot of members and they're active. Make sure that they're less than a million, but maybe 500,000 to 250, 750K. And what that allows you to do is have a built-in audience but then you see that it's a large enough audience. So if you provide value, it can be a really good resource for your audience. Now, if you are on one of those platforms, you're in a subreddit group, let's just look at one of the groups talking about game deals. Now, why would we focus on game deals? Well, their members are around 700,000. And for game deals, they don't have a designated newsletter for that industry. How do we know that? Well, we looked it up, trends told us, but then we looked it up and we bought the domain. We bought uh, gamedealsnewsletter.com and then we created our own newsletter to start attracting people to sign up and get deals And because we know that's what they're looking for. They're already on, sub, uh, on a subreddit looking for these deals. Instead of taking time searching through every post, they get this newsletter, they're gonna get all of the best deals straight to their email, their inbox, without even needing to really be stressful at all. Now, if you're wondering about, wait, there's all these other industries, people have got to be doing newsletters. That It's just nowhere to be found. Well, this was just one example, game deals. But as we were researching this, we also looked at true, true, true crime podcasts and all those things. Guess what? There's no newsletter for that. Yeah. The reality is there's a lot of niches that just don't have newsletters and you can be taking advantage of this. Now, an example of this also is a, uh, is a uh, newsletter called Morning Chalk Up. Now, they've been around since about 2016, but they took advantage of uh, the opportunity that there wasn't a lot of media around CrossFit. And then they were able to position themselves as one of the top media outlets for that sport. Now, there was a lot of other things going on with that. There was different types of media that was being discontinued from CrossFit. But because they were positioned as that newsletter in the community, the community trusted them. And then their newsletter was able to rapidly grow. And you can do the same thing with your idea or your niche or your category that you're thinking about. Take the opportunity. Now, I mentioned one idea, be active in the group. Now, there's a couple other ideas that I would have as well. Number two, I would make sure that I would look for influencers in that group and offer to send them a copy or offer to uh, give them a discount or an affiliation if they're going to be promoting your newsletter. Or again, offer value. Maybe it's not just an affiliate, but offer to see how you can help them advance what they are interested in. And then that way they can be advocates for your platform. Uh, one other thing too, for a subreddit group, what you can do is 
find really affordable Reddit ads. That's right. While you're in the subreddit, you can actually position your ad to go directly to your target demographic. So if they're interested, we'll go back to game deals. If they're interested in game deals and then they start seeing ads for a newsletter to give them more game deals, it just makes sense. It's correlating with what they're looking for. Again, I would look for a group or a subreddit group targeted ones that have a large user base and ones that are active and then align your newsletter with what they're trying to get, what they want, information, deals, etc. Okay, now that you have the ideas, we're going to be showing you some ideas how to create your landing page for your newsletter. So come with me. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at a few examples of landing pages to really make sure that you have all what you... Okay, now we're going to be looking at some landing pages to make sure that you can emulate some of the styles that are some of the best converting landing pages for newsletters. So we're going to look at three. Number one, we're going to look at the hustle. Now, the hustle has uh, just a few lines of text and then having you have the call to action to join free. So get the daily news straight to your inbox, sign up for the hustle, business and text in uh, and tech in five minutes or less. Okay, so you know what you're getting and it's giving a time commitment as well. Okay, so that's the join. Uh, for something more niche, this one is morning chalk up. Start your morning with a fresh cup of fitness, right? So this is for CrossFit. Right here, you have it say chalk up for you to, uh, to, to have the call to action. Again, using vocabulary known in the community. Uh, and again, they're using imagery that has found in the community, a well-known athlete. And uh, yeah, and also a, again, a, a mock-up of what it's going to look like when you're using your iPhone. The next thing is, now this one's a little bit of a hybrid. This is looking at AppSumo, and AppSumo is a deal site, but they're making the pitch on their landing page You'll never, uh, you're never paying full price for software again. You'll, uh, you'll, we'll send you the hottest deal straight to your inbox. So you, you're always in on the best kept software secrets, right? So right there, they're not even telling you, first of all, they're cutting out so many, you know, things for you. They're making sure that you're in the right place. They're giving you deals all the time. And again, they know their audience because they're talking about them on the front line right there. And then it says, send me deals. Okay. So again, these landing pages, what they're providing is very, very specific. Now, how can we take that and make our own? Well, we did this for game deals. We created this, uh, this page. It says, never pay full price for games again. Get daily game deals delivered straight to your inbox send me deals. So we took a mixture of the, uh, the hustle. And then we took also some of the stuff from, uh, from AppSumo. And then we had it right there. Now also right here, we had a mock-up of what it would look like for the newsletter. Again, taking inspiration directly from some of these pages. And it, I like where it said, send me deals. I, I think that makes sense. You're it's action. You're getting something you really like that again. So we're having that mixture right here. Now we played around with a couple different, uh, versions of this. If you look up here, we had game deals newsletter up here. We thought that was a little bit redundant. So we cut this out. Then we had get daily game deals straight to your inbox. We were messing around with that one. And again, we could again have the, um, the headline tested AB test never pay full, uh, never pay full price for games again, or get daily game deals straight to your inbox. And then down here, we, we kind of played with the time, cut out 20 hours of searching for deals and get the very best delivered to you. So again, we have a couple different variables to test, but really, again, you're looking at a headline, a sub headline, and then you're asking them to, to, to sign up. And that's how you can make your page. Nothing more than that. If you see what we just did, we just made it with a notion page and then just dropped it right there. So you can really get started very quick, quickly to validate your idea. And what's great about this is if this doesn't convert, you're only needing to change three main sections, your headline, subheadline, or your call to action, 
where it says send me more deals or sign up or whatever. You can start playing around with it. And what's great about this is once you're showing people in the community or outreaching and talking to influencers or anything like that, ask them what they think of it or ask them to explain back to you how you how they would present this to a friend. The reason I would say that is now they might use more natural language that's the vocabulary for that target demographic that you can then incorporate onto your uh, your landing page for the sign up for your newsletter. And that's it. You just got started for your very first viral newsletter. All right, everyone, and that's it. So now it's time for you to get started. As you're on your journey, make sure that you write your comments in the section below this video. Ask me any question and I'll be sure to answer all of your questions. And remember, if you like this video, let us know. We're going to be doing a new series of workshop videos where we're going to be very targeted with your first one to five steps to get started with your business. I'll talk to you in the next video. Give this thing a thumbs up. This, give some thumbs up to this thing. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Do this to start capitalizing. Hey everyone, remember, for you. And if you like, 